Okay, we're walking into Maria's house through the eating area. You can see on the inside, there's smoke covered all over the ceiling from the stove that was used previously. You can see it was an open fire created by wood under that pan. The smoke would vent up through the ceiling straight into the house. You can see there's just black smoke stains as if there was a fire here. What we're going to do is we're going to build a smokeless stove in this corner where the vent goes through the ceiling which will keep smoke outside of the house and therefore outside of children's lungs. We are back at Maria's house three days later. You can see that the old stove is still here to the left and the new stove, the smokeless stove, is complete. I'm going to point out some key features of the smokeless stove. First you can see we have a handprint of one of the children that will live here. We also have a piece of zinc that covers up the area where the fire is placed. Fire placed here, ashes drop into that space there. The three pans that she most often uses are custom fit to these holes so that no smoke will escape. The fire will heat up this pan, this pan, and then this pan, and then the smoke will escape through this chimney which goes through the roof. You can see that the black smoke on the roof is still here from the previous stove. And I'll point out again that that smoke was brought right into the house where the family spends a great deal of time. So this smokeless stove will keep that smoke outside of the house and therefore outside of the children's lungs.